good morning guys i don't even i can't even say i don't know how but i ended up in new jersey does that even make sense is that even legal from New York City then you probably know what the Van Week is I'm nervous I'm nervous <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie sis I'm nervous um Jamaican drivers are very bad I agree with that like everybody can agree with that like we're bad in a good way like recklessly good like recklessly like probably eight out of ten times you're not gonna catch no one accident how bad them a drive but in new york city them drive but in some ways where it's like I'm, I'm nervous you know i'm very nervous um but i got my gps on um i've been watching the road when mommy was driving for the past week i've been watching everything so i'm like familiar with where i'm at i'm familiar with the exit that i just came off of um i'm familiar but i'm still nervous um i'm driving on the right side of the road so that's good no complaints there um and it's also raining and you know people tend to drive worse when it's raining and when it's snowing um but yeah i just went to uh, a listing and I was like hoping to record but I'm kind of reassessing my motives right now um, I met the agent that was showing the property and he was really nice um, we exchanged cards and I you know shared some information about myself and he shared some information about himself so hopefully I can you know reach out to him and say would you like to do a video together showcasing one of your properties so we can show the difference between countries etc etc and he said definitely so I'm gonna reach out to him like I said in the beginning of that sentence and follow up with the statement um, so I think I'm gonna take this time to meet agents up here versus you know trying to get a video first um, see the properties that they have watch how they're showing and interacting with me um, yeah so I'm really excited I'm gonna be taking away information from all of these viewings um, yeah Alright guys, so I just finished with the second place and it's actually really really nice. Um, it does need renovating and the homeowner did recognize that and they're giving um, 20,000 sellers discount or something of the sort. It'll pop up on the screen. But um, they have a studio going for 167,000 in Queens in Forest Hills. Well, I don't want to say this is Forest Hills. Yes, it is Forest Hills. That's exactly where it says it is, Forest Hills. Um, so I was shook. I thought that was pretty crazy. Um, and I apologize about the um. And then they have a one bedroom, which the bedroom is huge. I'm gonna try to pop up some pictures. That's going for, I believe, 200 and 295 if I'm incorrect I'll put it but that's the one that they're giving the 20,000 points to and that one is actually really nice it does need renovations I'm coming to re the realization that if you cannot parallel park you just you're out of luck if you're gonna try to find parking in NYC I'm telling you 
if you even find parking i've been blessed to find parking um so right now i'm about to head to the third viewing third showing open house actually <laughs> that i found online and then after this i'm gonna head back over to the house and have mommy drop me off at the train station and then be on my way to brooklyn um i'll be recording this one at least i'll try to record this one on my social media so make sure you're following me at bicana realty if you want to see jamaican real estate and american real estate and thank you guys so much please like comment share and subscribe and peace out i really like this neighborhood yeah this neighborhood is it's quiet i don't really know it but from first impressions i like it it's calm okay guys so i definitely just finished with um the place that i just came to i saw three apartments for sale for the price of one not that they're going for the price of one but i was expecting to only see one place and i saw three um i have some snapchats not some snapchat some instagram stories so if you're not following me on bikana realty or bikana brown make sure you are i'll pop them up over here and i'll also pop the video up over here so while i'm talking you can see some of the clips i'll also save it to my highlights so you won't be missing it um because i won't be able to play all of them in this little clip of me talking but i think they look nice uh, my favorite would have to be the triplex I'm um, going from the last to the first one solely because it's three floors and I think that's really really cool they technically have a basement floor then they have their ground floor then they have two bedrooms upstairs or that's just how it's set up um, but I prefer the first one because of the lighting however the first one is a studio so it is much smaller what I do like though is that the second one they turned it into a two bedroom even though it was originally a one bedroom so you get more a lot more for your money um, and it's amazing so make sure you go and check out my instagram highlights bikana realty also follow bikana brown but bikana realty will have the highlights and will have the price points and i've got the realtor's card and information so if you are interested then you know shoot me a message and i'll send you his information like i've been trying to say i'm not selling any of these properties i'm licensed in jamaica not america not new york specifically so I can only give you information but I would prefer if you reach out to me so I can give you that privately so you know the person's information is not all out there for everyone you know every Tom Jack and Jill or whoever they call these names so right now I'm gonna head I'm not gonna head into Brooklyn after all I'm gonna head over to Kings Plaza the neighborhood over here is still Forest Hill so still the same place that I was at before it's not bad it ain't bad at all um I'm gonna go to navigation. I'm gonna type in no, not address. I'm gonna type in um point of interest. Is that what it's called? No, it's not that. How, how do you? I'm going to go on my phone and look up Kings. <laughs> Yo, Jamaicans, Caribbean people in general, we love kids with teeth. Kings Plaza. I hope you're not too far. That was a mall. That's in Brooklyn. That's not Queens. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. I need to message this girl. Hold up. Guys, catch traffic. Stop and go traffic. Let me hear that one more time. <laughs> Tear up the road, but I'm heading. I didn't even. I couldn't even tell you which one I'm going. I know, but I do know the GPS is working, so I trust it. Um, yeah, this Monday is going not how I planned exactly, but it's going. I like that. That's cute. Um, yeah. I'm actually, going over to my auntie house. Gonna pick up some stuff for my mama. But MP Fair, they have no bra to upset. Oh my god, no. I'm in the wrong lane. Girl, I need to. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay, guys. Got what I needed to get. Dropped it off to mommy. And this will be my first time driving into Brooklyn. I'm not as nervous as I was a while ago. I'm just realizing. Keep left onto the freeway entrance. I'll be a bad driver out there. So, I'm just trying to watch out for me. 
watch where I'm going and try to watch my surroundings because like I said proceed on the current freeway you no know, so much traffic I'll be a bad driver out there so I just gotta be very careful Alright guys, so I'm in King's Plaza, Brooklyn. This is my first time here. Maybe I came here when I was younger with my mom, but this is my definitely in my young adult, mid-adult range, early 20s, mid-20s um, time being here. I'm about to go into Primark. But yeah, this is what it's looking like. So let's see what Primark got going on. Alright guys, so I'm in Primark and it's messy, it's sloppy in here, like, but I understand people, if you come to a place and you're digging up the clothes and stuff like that, are you just going to leave it messy? Don't you feel, are you not embarrassed? Do you not feel ashamed? But, I guess not. Look at me! That's my little dress, I don't know why. I just keep on a couple, but... My dress is so crushed now, but I did iron it this morning. All right, let me shop around and see what they got. Oh, they have L'Oreal in this one. Remember, I went to the Primark in Miami. I'll leave the vlog up here. Um, but they definitely have, not Miami, in Fort Lauderdale. But they definitely have more options in this Primark than the other one. Like, I kept seeing bare Primark products, but I'm seeing other stores. Which is kind of cute. Oh, they got Milani too. This is definitely a New York City Primark. <laughs> Anyways, let me find some stuff, guys, and I'll be back. Hey, guys! Hi! Look who I have here! Woo! <laughs> you remember when we first met online, we were arguing about KFC? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So now we can argue in real life and then Jamaica can I can't see Drop a comment down below. Jamaica KFC or Trinidad KFC. Trinidad KFC. Jamaica. Red only way. <laughs> Alright guys, so we've decided to go to Soho because we were in Zara. And the Zara here was empty. The Zara here was empty so we're gonna go over to her house park over there catch the j train to soho walk around have fun and yeah i parked over here so i'll be back i hope they take card Ooh, bright lighting all right guys so we're not gonna go to soho anymore because we forgot that today is sunday and zara closed at seven so i'm about to look up some hookah bars I'm getting a ticket over there saying, um, would you like to use your turn on allowed? Hookah Lounge. Let's say near me. Let's just to see where. Coney Island. Is that really near me? Be a Coney Island or a Coney Island somewhere Anyways, let me figure out where we're going to go. And then when I get there, <laughs> if we get there, I'll call you guys. It's Sunday, so a lot of places might be closing early. But then again, it's New York, the city that never sleeps. So I don't know if COVID put a lot of these niggas in But, alright, I don't know. Okay, guys, perfect. I found a place. Sorry, I need to fix this. Um, I found a place for us to go to. It's in Queens, so it's gonna take me about half an hour to reach, a little over half an hour to reach. So once I reach, I will get back to you guys. I didn't buy anything today, but I will buy some clothes before I head back to Jamaica because I need some clothes. Shum, shum, shum. You know, I need some clothes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so Yeah. Uh, it's the alternator and I charge it. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, look at all. Shoot, shoot. Mommy is heading off to work and I'm going to sit here. <laughs> I'm going to sit here and wait for this person to come back. Um, they have two hour parking so they have to move soon. Um, or wait until I see anybody move. Yeah, we're by Columbia. I don't think, what is this? We're by, yeah, I don't know, girl. Um, but we're definitely in Manhattan. So, yeah, it's super exciting. Okay guys, so we've been home for some time now. I we actually went to the supermarket um just to get some groceries. So I didn't really record that because I've been recording a lot of that the last vlog um or two vlogs ago. But we're home now and I'm trying to upload a listing. So I've got a new listing. Hopefully by the time you see this video, it will be up. But I'm facing some problems. So I'm waiting for my office manager to be out of her meeting. So she'll call me back and we can try to resolve it together. Um, I will share information probably in the next clip. Some pictures, uh, some information about the property, price point, square footage, square meters, that sort of thing. Just in case if you're interested, please contact me at b.brown at century21jm.com. So yeah, um, if I don't see you guys until later tonight or even tomorrow, it's just that I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out, guys. Um, it's a bit difficult for me, but we will get through it. Um, I'm just going to keep doing what I have to do. I'm still learning. I am still learning. I'm still new. Honestly, if you're thinking about becoming a real estate agent, go for it. I 100% recommend it, but don't take it lightly. It is difficult. I used to think, oh, Ray, 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 or you know, oh, I'm gonna make a sale in the first month, or oh, it's not that hard. Okay, I didn't, I never thought it wasn't that hard because I've shadowed people and I see, but it, it's that hard times 50. It's so much harder than you think to sell a place. It's so much, much more harder. Even if you have all the required documents from your clients, it's so much harder to sell a place than you think because it is very important. It's a lot of money and it's, you know, it's someone's life, like their future home or their previous home that they're selling or an apartment that they're selling or a business that they're going into. This is someone's life. And when I'm telling you that it's 100% serious, I'm so sorry that like, I'm probably not the best at following up with people, which is something that I'm working on and come to find out a lot of realtors really aren't the best at following up with people. So we are trying our best, but it's not easy. It's not me sitting at a table, click, click, clicking, and then making a whole heap of money. That's not the truth. And most of my commission on average is 5%. We're doing a lot of work for that 5%. We're trying to find you that sale. We're trying to get you that place. We're trying to sell your place for that 5%. And then we're also splitting the 5% with another agent if someone else is helping us to sell or buy the place. And on top of that, each of us are splitting that 5% with our companies. So just imagine we're splitting 5% and let me talk about my side. I'm splitting 5% with another agent, yeah? So that money is already in half. Then, turn around and split the money that I'm making with my broker, my, my brokerage. And then I also have to pay taxes. It, it really doesn't come out to be that much. It is a nice lump sum of money, yes, when you do make big sales. And even if it's little sales, you're still making great money. But the work that goes behind it, it's, it's a lot of work. My um, office manager is calling me, so let me go figure it out. Good morning, guys. Don't be scared. I am doing a face mask. It's on for 10 minutes, so I have, I don't know if you can see, I have about seven minutes left. Um, it's an exfoliator, a chemical exfoliator. So I'm gonna wash it right off.
guys i feel like today's content was just food i apologize i'm really trying to find stuff to do um but i'm gonna make some cookies some chocolate chunk and chip cookies um i've already opened it and tasted one because it says you can eat or bake because of the materials that they use in it it's um it they have heat treated flour pasteurized eggs and ready to eat manufacturing so you can you don't have to you can't you don't you won't eat it and have to worry about salmonella poisoning and that type of stuff so I'm actually gonna bake it and then get back to you guys okay so first thing we're gonna preheat it um, I believe it's at 360 degrees 350 350 degrees I don't know if you can see that properly let's get it to focus um the oven is very smart <laughs> it has a cookies option so it automatically did it and it's gonna preheat um I don't know for how long but it got everything down pat because it's saying cook for 10 minutes or bake for 10 to 14 minutes and that's exactly what the oven popped up with on the screen so I can't find a baking tray so I'm gonna use this because my cousin used to bake cakes I don't know if he still does bake them like you know Jamaican type cakes um, so I'm just gonna use this as a tray and hopefully it doesn't affect anything I think it's thin enough um, the only thing is that it has borders walls things at the side so we'll just see how it goes um, I'm hoping that it comes out good because I'm feeding for some cookies and I've never baked my own cookies not like this before so I'm really excited so we'll see this is what it's looking like I'm feeling like a wife I'm feeling like 1950s baking some stuff I'm feeling like Chef Boyardee I'm feeling like Gordon Ramsay I'm feeling like I hope this turns out really good <laughs> guys look it's baking <laughs> I feel like I need to close the oven so I'm not disturbing it, but I'm so proud of it, you know? Look at my little babies growing up. Damn, they about to be so delicious. Woo! Anyways. <laughs> These are literally so cute. Girl, I'm going to add chef to my resume. Sous chef. Or baker. I don't know which one. Wow, it's so pretty. Let's do the time. Let me lock this back up because... I've been doing some TikTok videos, so follow me on TikTok. Um, how long? Where's my timer? So it's been going for oh, I got one minute 52 seconds left. Period. Okay, guys, so I just had one delicious but i need to wait for it to cool down and settle because it did break apart a little bit but so i just need to wait um another thing i'm gonna upload this video like tomorrow so this was yesterday <laughs> um even though i i wanted to do a weekly vlog but let's not talk about that drop a comment down below if you live in new york city like if you live in one of the boroughs or if you live in um new jersey or Long Island, I don't think Long Island, it's like Staten Island, Brooklyn, Queens, um, Manhattan, Staten Island, Queens, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Bronx, yeah. So if you live in Long Island as well, and you want to link up in New York City, let me know because I want to do some fun, cute vlogs, just like what you saw earlier in the video with me and Mel from Play Hot. Girl, I'm about to pop her page up right now. So, I mean, I've, I've been popped it up. I'm about to pop it up again, so go check her out. Um, if you wanna link up and have fun, maybe go to Times Square, go to Grand Central Park, go to Soho, go to, what other one name? Bryant Park or the Brooklyn or Bronx Zoo or, you know, some cute fun stuff so I can get content, so you can get content so we can hang out, meet each other. Let me know, I would be so down for that. So please, serious people only. And if you can, please DM me on Instagram. Um, if you don't wanna drop the comment, drop a comment either way. But if you wanna tell me that you wanna link up in private, DM me, but leave a comment down below as well. Peace. I'm gonna go enjoy it. Well, I'm gonna wait and I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. I'll, I'll eat it in front of you guys. I'll do a mukbang. Okay. <laughs>
So my cousin has this really, really cute gym. Okay, <laughs> why did I say really, really cute? He has this um, great gym set up. I've been using it, so it's been about a week and a couple days since I've been consistently working out um every day okay not every day i give myself two rest days so basically i give myself the weekend off because you know your muscles need to recuperate um but tonight i'm doing some upper body workouts so i'm gonna bring you guys along with me i'm gonna try to do um bicep triceps and try to work on my back uh when i get back to jamaica i'll be going into the gym so i'm just trying to start off i realize that i like a gym setup more than i like working out at home so it's really nice that my cousin has this so i'm going to show you guys what i do a couple workouts um and then i'm going to end off the vlog there i know it's a quick one but thank you guys so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and i promise i've been doing some research to find some fun things to do in new york city so i can show you so hopefully before i get back to jamaica i can show you some cool things to do in new york especially if you're planning on moving here so let me know let me know if you want to move to new york city let me know you know let me know what y'all got planned for my peeps in jamaica let me know what's going on let me know but drop them comments please please and from body so my discount code is in the description box if you want to check them out also wearing the shorts snatched Snatching me in, minus the fact that I look. I don't know, I hope you could see a difference when I go. Very bloated, but it looks really cute. There are five pieces in the set, so just keep watching my fitness journey to see all the different pieces. morning guys I don't even I can't even say I don't know how but I ended up in New Jersey does that even make sense is that even legal <laughs> guys I'm trying to make it back to New York City I'll be back Proceed. okay so I'm in some stop traffic right now and I don't even know where to start so mommy and i are driving around looking for parking because she has to go into work for a couple hours um we can't find anything um we can't even find anywhere for me to illegally catch and just wait and just you know standing couldn't find anything so we're driving back the one last time one last drive around and she's like oh here's the visitors parking how about you you know drive you go back up go down come back and then stopped traffic 
and then you know test it out and we can see how much it costs and if anything we'll just go that route from here on or whatever so i'm like okay this dam is cute um you can't really see it it looks nice i wonder if i have something to chelsea come on. Okay, anyways so <sighs> she leaves i'm in the car i go up go around come back down turn come back up I'm looking, I don't see the visitors parking. So I'm like, okay, maybe I was supposed to go down further. So I go back up again, go back around, come down, come around, and I keep going. And I'm like, oh my God, this is saying bridge to New Jersey. So I'm like, oh Jesus, okay. I, at this point, can't back out. There's a police car right over there. Like I can't reverse out of here. I just have to keep going and hope that, you know, there's an emergency, let me get the hell off this place ramp before I go over this bridge. So I'm like slowly driving, annoying Three everybody behind me. Ahead on the route. I'm slowly slow traffic. I'm slowly driving, annoying everybody behind me. Um I don't see no emergency exit ramp. I see something that says to the Bronx, which I probably should have taken that one. Thinking about it now. Um I don't know. And I like I'm in fear because I'm like I don't want to go around anything that has a toll or whatever um, so I'm just okay let me just keep right that's what they teach you <laughs> just keep right so I kept right and I realized it was bringing me to a tunnel and then we was over a bridge and I was like oh my god so I like I hurriedly now hit navigation and try to put in the recent destination which would be um, the hospital yeah it would be the hospital so i hurry up and hit it before i even get off the bridge and it reroutes me and it says 20 minutes so i'm like okay that's bad but it's not that bad um so it says 20 minutes so it brings me off the bridge and it brings me to like the first exit and then the exit comes like it's probably gonna loop back around to the bridge but then when i get there it looks so funny it looks so suspicious um I'm like, can I even make this turn? Like, is this turn legal? Like, it looks weird. It looks like a weird turn. So I'm like, oh my God, let me just, somebody's coming. Let me just keep going. I keep going and tell me why the time increased by 20 minutes. So now it says 46 minutes. I, I, I almost cried. I almost cried. And then as I'm driving by, I'm seeing the traffic. I almost cried. I'm like, do you see this? Do you see all those trailer trucks? All those trucks? all those big old vehicles i see like one average car in between like 20 trucks Stopped traffic so now all right okay i'm like all right boom i just gotta get off the next exit come back around girl it took me to the next exit took me to in front of some hospital the next exit took me in front of some hospital and it was just so confusing and now I'm seeing like rangers I think it's like you know those highway rangers or whatever in the Mustang cars um <laughs> I don't know how I got myself into this mess so now I'm here and stop traffic um I think I'm about to go back oh my god oh my god this is wrong <sighs> needless to say I don't know how I think I can say now, I don't know how I ended up in this. Like, I don't want to come back. <laughs> um, I need to pee as well. And I feel like I'm going to cry because my time of the month is coming. So I was just, I don't know. I just feel like my emotions are all over the place. Go, go, hurry up. Damn. One tenth of a mile ahead on the route. Slow Sit traffic. Down. Yeah, sorry, because I didn't, I was in the wrong lane, so I had to cut over in the other lane, and I didn't want anybody beeping me because somebody behind me wasn't moving. I mean, somebody in front of me wasn't moving, you get me? So now, I'm just getting grumpy now, huh? Well, the houses over here in New Jersey are cute. They're very... All I'm seeing is Benz and cheap wags and all these. Oh, y'all rich, rich. It's cute. 
it's giving me I don't know what it's giving me to be honest wealth all right I gotta go I'm gonna try to figure out my way back to New York I'm in a whole other state how did I end up in a whole other state I'm gonna title it that I'm not clickbaiting you it's not as serious not like I ended up in Texas from New York but it's still the roads over here man all because we were looking for parking I'm gonna turn the camera on and tell my mom when I pick her up um, yeah I'm gonna tell her I'm gonna be like guess what happened Watch traffic guys, watch traffic. Look where I've got myself into. It's saying, oh sorry. It's saying 14 minutes, but this traffic is saying half an hour. I don't know. I still need to pee. Half an hour later, SpongeBob voice. Um, guys, I'm still on this toll thing because I panicked when I saw that it was toll because I thought there had to be another way that wasn't toll. Turns out there's not because mommy just called me. She's like, where are you? I'm like, girl, guess what happened? I couldn't record because I still have to drive. I need to pee. So like the crackling in my voice is because I have to pee and I'm squinching my lady parts. <sighs> I don't know how this ended up happening to me. Life on fury. Like, I really have to pee, but 12 minutes. I think I can hold my pee in for 12 minutes. Car, hurry up, I'm going to make a gear blind. I'm all on pee my gear blind. It's only because I'm a good person. Um, yeah, so she was like, oh my God. Like, she said she couldn't even, she, she said she can't even laugh. She wanted to laugh. I think she's probably laughing at me right now. I don't know, man. I just want to get under this bridge and go about my business. Like, if I had known, I would have never gotten off half an hour ago look at me i was driving around the place like i was basically house hunting places over there are really pretty i ended up in some neighborhoods like only god can imagine <sighs> anyways about to be and guys I'm about to be off the bridge oh my god um guys I was about to go the wrong way I'm so sorry car behind me I was about to go the wrong way again I need to pee like I don't even know how to think right now I just know I need to pee um exit two is on the left and then keep right exit two is on the left okay okay yeah going to the right place i don't know where that other part was going to take me but two hours basically hour and a half two hours spent in new jersey all because we were trying to find parking so I'm about to come off, call my mom. I think she said the Starbucks, she's at Starbucks right now getting us something to drink and eat. And she said it is at 168th Street. So I'm gonna try to find that and I'll be back to you guys.